number four now. So now they're giving us a gigantic data set. Look at that, 117 numbers. So you need to type all these numbers into your calculator down L1. You ready? Go. Oh, no, I'm joking. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just it, probably inappropriate. I'm just totally joking around. We're not going to type these into our calculator. That would be terrible. That would take a long, long time. We're not doing that. No, we don't need to do that. What, what, what do we need to do? Well, let's come on down here. What they're doing is they're giving us a bar graph. So they took all this data and they made it into a bar graph for us. Great. Now, what's their question? Here comes their actual question. To find P32, what is the value of the locator? So basically what they're asking in this question is to find, um, use the locator, give the value for the 32 percentile. They want us to find the 32nd percentile of this data set. So I need to tell you what that is and how you find it. So what are we talking about? Um, what is a percentile? A percentile is a ranking from 0% to 100%. So you basically make a make a big chart and you put at the at the low you put the lowest the lowest whatever what are we talking about here these are scores maybe these are uh, uh, quiz scores in some in some class so they so some class took a big quiz and the lowest, the lowest scores, the lowest, the lowest score, I should say. Uh, the lowest score is down here at the 0% and up here is the highest, the highest score. So what's the lowest score on that quiz? Who got the lowest score? Can you see it? 8.7, right? That's the lowest score. And the highest is down here, right? This data goes in order. Notice it goes in order as you go across, right? 8, 8.7, then 12.3, 14.6. See, it goes up, 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 and then next row, up, up, up it goes. So the lowest score on the quiz is right there. This is the low, this is the high. So the person that did the worst on the quiz got 8.7. The person that did the best on the quiz got 55.9. It's 117 people that took this quiz. So um, what we want to do now is figure out a percentile ranking. In other words, where, where do you rank on a percentile system? This is something commonly done in the world, in the professional world. So in the professional world, all the time, you'll see percentile rankings. They do this even, you know, in the medical world when you have a newborn baby. I've had five of those, and so I, I've experienced this. When you when you take your newborn baby, well, when you first have your newborn baby, they tell you the weight and the height of your baby, and and therefore they're telling you, uh, they tell you that in terms of percentile. So they'll say your your baby boy is at the 21 percentile in weight. And what they mean is if we ranked all the baby boys from zero to 100, 21 would be about there, meaning your, your boy is pretty light. Your newborn boy is pretty light compared to other uh, newborn baby boys. So it's a, it's a ranking. And maybe they'll say, okay, and the height, the height of your boy is at the 79 percentile. So maybe, maybe your boy is tall but light. And so, um, so they're just ranking from zero to 100. That's all percentile is, is just a ranking system from zero to 100. So let me um, erase this stuff and we'll get back to it. So that's what it is, a percentile is a ranking system. Okay, so how do we do it? How do we, add? that's what they want. They're saying, they're coming down here and they're saying, find the 32 percentile score, in other words, which quiz score is, is at the 32%, which would be about right here, right? 32% mark. Which quiz score is right there at 
In other words, it's a little below half, right? 32% is below 50%. It's lower than half. How do you find it? All right, here we go. Here come the steps. To find a P percentile, what do you do? Step number one, take P over 100 times N. N is the total number of values. So there's the first thing you do, P over 100 times N. So this, in my case, the P is the 32. We're trying to find, they're asking us to find the 32%. So the P is 32. See it down here? They're saying 32 percentile. P is 32. Or they even say it right there, don't they? P 32. So I'm going to go 32 over 100 times, right? I'm doing P over 100 times N. What's N? Right there. 117 data values. So 32 divided by 100 times 117. Use your calculator. And I'm getting 37.44. Is that good? So that's step number one. Take your p-value over 100 times n, n being the total number of data values. So take, in, in, this, in my particular case, you'll have different numbers on yours. It's 32 divided by 100 times 117 comes out to be 37.44. Okay, step number two. If it's a decimal, and mine is, right? We got a decimal. If you get a decimal, round up even, even, let me, let me show you what I mean by that. Even 7.1 rounds up to 8. Are you tracking with me? So when I say round up there, I really mean up. I don't mean, I don't mean round off. There's different kinds of rounding. And rounding off is where you go 0.5 up and 0.4 down. That's rounding to the closest. But we're rounding up, which means everything goes up. Even if you had 7.1, it would go up to 8. We mean up here. So I'm going to take that 37.4, and I'm going to round to 38. Round up to 38. You tracking with me? So that's step two. If you get a decimal, round up, round it up to 38, and then go find the 38th number in the list. So that's your L. We call this L. L is 38 because L stands for locator. See how it says right here, locator? So the locator, the L is 38. That's what they're asking for in step one there. You know, find the L, find the locator, 38. And then in the second question, now use that locator to find the value in that spot. So now I'm going to go back up to the chart, and I'm going to find the 38th number in the list. That will be our answer. Are you ready? Let's go do it. Let's go find the 38th. And I'm going to look at this chart. Find it. Now, how many numbers are there in this chart? I mean, there's 117, but I mean, how far across do they go? Let's see. So um, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. That's so they should have made it go 10, shouldn't they? So they made it go like nine across. That's the ninth. So this is the 10th number, 11, 12. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. You know, you could just go, this is 27, 36, right? Because yeah, it's going by 9. 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4. So that means this is the 36th number. So this is the uh, 37th number, 38th number. There it is. This must be the 38th number. 
25.4. That's the 38th number in the data list. Are you seeing that? 25.4. That's the 38th number. That's, that's the answer to my question. I come down here and I go 25.4. That data value is the 38th number in the list, which means he is at the 32 percentile, right? He's the quiz score that is 32 percent along the way. If you're ranking from the lowest quiz score to the highest, and you're ranking them percentage-wise from zero being the lowest percentage to 100% being the top score, we would find 32% along the way at the 32 percentile mark, you would find the quiz score 25.4. So if you got 25.4 on the quiz, you, you're 32% along the way. No, it's 32% are below you and most of the class is above you. That's how you figure out percentile. Now there's another step here if if it's if you don't get this one. If it's if it's a whole number if it's a whole number, you see when I did this calculation right here and I got 37.44, it might have come out a whole number. I'm going to go dot dot dot. There's something else you do which I'll show you on another problem. But on this one, you're going to get a decimal. So if you get a decimal round up that's the locator, so we rounded up to 38, that's the locator, and then go find the 38th value, which in our case, my case, my example was 25.4. There we go. Questions I can answer on that one.